Welcome everybody to the Sin Adventure. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today we have our certified sin specialist on board, Cuddles, the African Grey. We're gonna be taking a look at Dr. Squanch versus Sudsy Bear. So let's go ahead and get started with the first category, and that's products offered. We want to know do they offer more than soap? And are they giving you enough options for all your body care needs? First up, Dr. Squanch, and of course we have soaps over here, but did you know that they also have Shampoos, conditioners, lotions, deodorants, face wash, toothpaste, beard oil. Oh, and they even have their own female line of soap, jukebox. But what does Sudsy Bear have to offer over here? Obviously, soaps. That's kind of the bread and butter of both these companies, right? But they also have beard oil, shampoo bar, lotions. And they have a few other items, a little bit of swag and some honey and stuff that they offer. Oh, and some deodorants as well. Not as much stuff is being offered from Sudsy Bear over here as Dr. Squanch, but I think you're covering all your bases. You've got the soap, deodorant, lotion, beard care, right? That's pretty simple. So both of these, I'd, I'd give one point to Sudsy Bear and maybe one and a half to uh, Dr. Squanch for having just a little bit extra. So moving right along to Sense offered we want to know do these guys offer more than five cents and are those scents enjoyable well with dr squanch we have quite a bit of scents that are offered in the main line way more than five they also offer quite a bit of limited edition scents that they release throughout the year and then of course limited edition collabs like this harry potter bar now are all those scents good Mm, I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of the Dr. Squanch scents, but the ones that they got right, they did really good. All right, moving over here to Sudsy Bear. These guys are offering more than five cents in their main lineup. They're also offering limited edition scents that they release throughout the year. Now, they aren't doing collabed IP edition scents just yet, but uh, the scents that are done over here at Sudsy Bear are really good good they offer a lot more essential oil blends over there some are mixed with fragrance oils but there's a lot more that have uh, natural essential uh, scents going on here okay so which one of these brands get the point this is going to be a little bit hard to judge because scent is obviously subjective and if you're asking me personally i'm leaning a little bit more towards sudsy bear because they have uh, scents that are a little bit more enjoyable for me but Dr. Squanch offers way more scents, including the IP stuff. So if I'm being fair and honest here, I'm going to have to give Dr. Squanch a point and a half, and we're getting one point for Sudsy Bear. Next category is going to be ingredients. I'm not going to compare every single product against each other. We're just going to look at soap bases. So with Dr. Squatch, we have saponified oils of palm, coconut, and olive, and they've also added shea butter. Now, of course, each one of these Dr. Squanch bars has a few extra ingredients that makes it unique and special, but the soap base is gonna be those three oils and the butter. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the ingredients with Sudsy Bear. Now these are gonna be a little bit more difficult because each soap has different soap bases. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. They mix it up over there at Sudsy Bear. So this base on this particular soap is actually gonna have saponified oils of olive, coconut, palm, castor, and they've added shea butter and mango butter. Hell yeah, that's a good mix right there. But you're getting more ingredients here for the actual soap base. And if you start looking at the ingredients that Sudsy Bear shoves into these bars of soaps, I'm gonna have to tell you that they probably have the most unique mix of ingredients. We're gonna judge this as one point for Dr. Squanch. Uh, it's still a good soap base, but it's, it's, it's pretty limited and pretty basic. Sudsy Bear is actually going to get two points in this category because I like the ingredients that they add to their products and like I said they kind of pack as many cool ingredients into a soap bar as you possibly can. Next category is going to be shipping. Dr. Squanch I'd have to say is hit or miss on shipping. Now they're a pretty big company. I expect a little bit more from a company like this. So when I place an order and it takes weeks to get here or weeks for them to even uh, ship it that's kind of disappointing but when you actually get an order and it's missing products and you have to reach out to customer service uh, that's disappointing as well let me know what you think of dr squanch's shipping have you guys had problems success what is it what do you got going on there now 
Sudsy Bear. What do these guys offer? Well, obviously this is a smaller brand than Dr. Squanch, but these guys are putting out orders within a day or two from the order. It gets to you pretty fast. I haven't had any problems with the shipping from Sudsy Bear. I haven't had any messed up orders yet from Sudsy Bear. Now, this being said, these guys do get bogged down during Halloween, Black Friday, Christmas, and you are going to have longer shipping times. It's going to take a little longer for these items to get out. It's going to take them a little longer for them to get to you. So, uh, with shipping, I'm going to give Dr. Squanch a 0.5. Because, uh, to be honest, they've kind of disappointed me a little bit in shipping. Uh, I think I'm going to give Sudsy Bear just one point. Next category is going to be customer service. Now, with Dr. Squanch, they actually have fairly good customer service. Now, you were probably talking to some paid employee in a call center somewhere, or you're talking to a robot AI responding to you um, in question form or whatever answer question form online but for the most part they do pretty good in customer service if you get a smash soap uh, mix match order uh, destroyed deodorant whatever you reach out to them you tell them your problem they're probably going to comp the order they're probably going to send you out a new product or give you some sort of coupon to replace it now with sudsy bear they don't have the broad scope of customer service being offered as this brand obviously these guys have 24-hour service anytime any place this is a little bit smaller business um, but their customer service is actually very nice it's actually a little more personal the owner is involved in most aspects of this company and will even reach out to customers themselves so if that's happened to you let me know in the comments down below if you've had interactions with Jacob and how that went okay to judge this category is going to be a little hard for me i'm slightly more biased to the personal touch that you get with the sudsy bear customer service but if i'm being honest and fair here each one of these companies deserves one point next category is going to be quality of products yeah we already touched base on ingredients and we compared those but what about the actual quality of the products Dr. Squanch, when they first came out, you know, I think a lot of people would say the quality was great, right? And as they've gotten bigger, as they've gotten more of these deals here, they've really drawn back on the quality, pushed a lot more with their advertising. Oh, Dr. Squanch, limited edition, buy a million, a million soap bars and stuff, right? This being made in some giant brick by some kids making minimum wage doesn't have the same feel as you know a hand poured batch of soap so that's kind of a little tangent there and everything but the quality has gone downhill a little bit with dr squanch is the product good yes the product is is good you know don't come at me squanch man now sudsy bear this brand right here has been constantly improving the quality of their products if you go back when i first discovered this brand they had just a simple cigar band around their uh, product and they only offered a few different products now they offer quite a bit of products they've improved upon scents that they've had to offer you the best scent they've improved upon uh, formulations to give you the best product now uh, a lot of people see reformulation and they think oh man they're they're going cheaper they're selling for the same it's garbage Sudsy Bear's reformulations have been upgrades, more ingredients, better scent, cooler looking bar. This brand is definitely staying true to quality first, right? And I think that is definitely worth a little extra. So in this category, I'm going to give Sudsy Bear two points. Uh, we're going to give him half a point. Next category, product packaging. How does that all look, guys? Well, Dr. Squanch actually has some pretty nice packaging. I cannot lie, right? They've done a very nice job, very appealing. They've got their whole brand down here. they got their little brand mascot here in the center, and they do some really cool limited edition bar boxes. I think they've done really great with their branding and their packaging. Uh, I really can't say anything negative about it. I mean, if you look at this box, it's kind of beat up a little bit, but, you know, that's just nitpicking, right? The actual box, the actual um, design, logos, all that is, is really well done over here with Dr. Squanch. Now, let's take a look at Sudsy Bear. 
I like this box that they've got going on here. It's nice and glossy. It's a little thicker. Like I said, it's an upgrade from the cigar band that they had. Uh, one thing I don't like, almost every picture they have on their limited edition boxes are just uh, stock images you can get on the web on any website out there. Uh, click it, add it to the box, you're done. You know, what I'd like to see, this is just going to be a slight suggestion, what I'd like to see on their limited edition boxes is like custom art. You know, it doesn't cost too much, I don't think, to hire somebody to make you a personal custom art piece. And that would, uh, man, that would just elevate this to the next level. I like the box's quality. I think everything else looks good. I think the uh, stock photo in the background is just a little lazy, if I'm being being honest. Other than that, you know, the rest of the branding here, the little bear trying to get the honey, taking the shower, trying to get the honey or whatever's going on there. That's a decent little logo. I like all the rest of that stuff. But if I'm being fair, um, the boxes are the limiteds are a little lacking compared to Squanch. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give Dr. Squanch two points. And uh, we're going to give them one point. One point here. All right, now for the final tally. I haven't been keeping score right here, but maybe in editing I'll throw up the scores. Dr. Squanch up there, Sudsy Bear up there, and you guys can figure out which one won. If you're asking me, just my personal opinion, I lean a little bit more towards Sudsy Bear. I think I've mentioned that a few times in this video. If you haven't tried Sudsy Bear, I think it's definitely worth a try. If you've tried both of these brands, let people know out there in the comments which one would win for you? Help everyone make a good buying decision out there. And uh, that's going to be it. You got anything to add here, Cuddles? Like, share, subscribe. Cuddles and myself will see you on the next adventure. Peace.